Welcome back to Healthy Don't Hurt. Back with another video that's straight fire on a Friday because you know I got that dog in me. In relationships, work, and personal well-being, it is geared to protect your physical, emotional, and mental health. One facet of boundaries is personal space, setting limits on how close people can get to you, physical touch. Now, me, my personal space boundary, again, it may not, your threshold may not be the same as mine, um, but I feel as though in this instance, the personal space boundary that is in place was still respected. Of course, if they're taking out hair, you got to get close, right? It's, if, if, it's, if it's not inappropriate in a hair salon or in a shop with or in someone's house, basement with a teen doing an adult's hair, because that's, I, 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 personally experience this not for myself i'm not getting my hair done from teens because my sister does my hair but i know a lot of teens they work in shops or they have side hustles so on and so forth and they service adults you can't do you can't take out hair from four feet away right you got to kind of get a little kind of get a little close right kind of got a little uh, close but the personal space boundary was still respected you don't see them like rubbing and gyrating on me i'm not like feeling on them and this that and the third like yeah they're close but they're being respectful. They're still being respectful. It's straight. It's, it's, and everything is, everything is in the camera. Everything is in the camera. Everything is in the camera. People are still saying, oh, your sister does your hair. You couldn't take it out. Do I? This is what, this is what I'm talking about. People, who just, just, people will hear and think what they want to think. I literally already said that my sister, is, it was her birthday weekend. She had stuff planned. So she wasn't trying to, she didn't account for being at, being, having to take my hair out too. I have to show up with my hair. If you, any... Please, if anyone goes to like a hair salon or anything, can you all talk about how some people say that in their clause or in their contract, you have to have your hair out and washed before you get here. It has to be detangled before you get here. If not, they'll charge you extra for doing that because it takes extra time and effort and energy. She didn't have that extra time or effort or energy. So what she did, yo, if you don't get your, let me just turn that off. Do not decline. I'm not trying to talk to nobody. I'm not trying to, well, I don't know why you, you know. Yeah, I don't know why we were questioning, but um, yeah, she already told me if I don't have my hair out, I'm not getting my hair done. She didn't account for that. She just accounted for, okay, you come here, hair's out, let's do your hair. That's it. If I had to get my hair taken out, that's extra time, so that's pushing her schedule back. I already explained that, but maybe that was someone new, so hey, um, where were we at? Personal space. Exactly. Personal space boundary, was, it, it's still there. Like, they're not straddling me. We're not rubbing up on each other. You didn't even see my hands up there because I even thought, like, okay, my hands up there, you know, it's my head. It's still pretty close because all the braids are really close together. So if I'm up here, too, we're going to be rubbing elbows and bumping forearms and touching fingers and stuff. So I'm like, nah, I didn't even have my hands up there. I, I asked them. I knew they was going to say no, but I asked them. I was like, y'all need me to help? I'll grab a cone. They was like, nah, they cut me off. Nah, Mr. White, you, nah, 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 we got you. You don't know what you're doing anyway. I'm like, okay, cool. So I just... Hands there, hands visible. That's what I don't understand. The transparency. The transparency. People are saying it's unprofessional. This is what I do. My school already knows about it. They already know about it. I'm not, it, it, it's, my teacher or my principal told me as long as what you're doing isn't affecting your lesson or isn't affecting your class's grades or their test scores, okay. Okay, yeah, you can make your videos. Yeah, you can do your little skits. Yeah, you go live. I go live because people like seeing raw teacher content. This is raw. Not filtered, not edited. This is just raw. And people love that type of content. And again, I make money. I make money. I make money. Like my sister said, if you don't agree, you can leave. I'm clearing everything. I'm being honest. I'm being transparent. I'm being vulnerable. And I came on here to do exactly that because I'm talking about things that people want to hear. Um, so just be respectful. Just be respectful. Be respectful. So again, personal space boundary is there. But if you're taking anyone's hair out, you got to get a little close. But it's still, it's still, it's, it, it, it was still respectful. It's still wholesome. It's still innocent. So that's just, that's, that's that. Uh, here's some other types of boundaries that I have in place for myself and in my classroom and what I try to teach my students. Emotional boundaries, recognizing and communicating your needs, feelings, and values. Appropriate expression of emotions. So no manipulation, no invalidation. Me personally, I acknowledge how I feel and I try my best to respectfully and effectively communicate, uh, they reported your live. Hey, let them report. Let them. I mean, I'm not really doing anything. I'm not really doing anything. Um, yeah, I'm not really doing anything. And hey, bump all that. Why are we even having discussion? If my school has not received one complaint from any of the parents, why are we even having this conversation? That's one. That's one. Why are we even having this conversation if the parents, my school did not receive one complaint from anyone else? in the school community. So if the parents are not 
complaining about what went down or complaining about my content creation or complaining about these videos, why are we even having these discussions? So it looks like the teacher that I previously did a video about um, who allowed his students to braid his hair after they got done doing their schoolwork. It looks like they, they placed him on leave, which is unfortunate. This was not my intention. I can't say that I played a part. This video um, is not big enough to have that big of an impact. I know I'm not the only person that talked about this, that covered this, or did videos um, about this event. Um, and it is unfortunate. He does seem like a decent dude. Um, which is great. I never said that he was a bad person. He was a bad teacher or that he had ill intent. I simply said that boundaries need to be respected. And he did say at the beginning of the video, everyone has a different sense of boundaries. But when it comes to school, we have all got to be on the same page. I did include in my video that, you know, under no circumstance says, uh, should there be direct physical contact or too much physical contact between teachers and students? I did make some, some rude jokes about saying that, you know, if it was my son or daughter on live, that I would be lumping him up in the parking lot. That still stands true, right? I'm standing on business. I'm gonna be real with you. Um, if I didn't sign a permission slip and I see that, yeah, I'm, that's the energy I have because it's my kid. He did include in the video that, um, that they signed permission slips. Principal okayed it. So, you know, it's not his fault. You, if the principal gave him the green light, that's the school's fault. The principal is the dumb dumb. So, um, and, and for real, for real, it, it really, it really is just poor decision making by the administration, by the school district, and also by him. And he did say, I make money. He admitted that he makes money off of these TikToks. You should not be making money from lives or even be on live during school hours. You're getting compensated additional money from your social media that involves children. You're supposed to be teaching. <laughs> that is my whole point. You are there to teach. Stick to teaching. This was stupid. It's stupid when you say it out loud. There were waiver signs. It doesn't matter, bro. I know he's like, why are we having this discussion? We're having this discussion publicly because you posted it publicly. You posted it on social media. You were profiting on social media so guess what we get to talk about it on social media now if this was a private endeavor and this occurred strictly offline that would be totally different and it would be kind of wrong of us to make these videos now um you know and I, I was pretty hard on the dude you know it's just the decision making guys i cannot make this clear enough it's not him it's the decision making i'm not saying that he had ill intent but there are so many scenarios that are similar to this that go south boundaries are there to to give you room for error miscalculation and it, it provides space to prevent physical contact literally what a boundary is it's a preventative measure right not just for you for everyone we have stop signs as a preventative measure. We have we have dividers on highways as a boundary between two vehicles that are traveling at high speeds in opposite directions. Not because you're a bad driver, right? But because somebody else on the road might not be the best driver. It's a boundary. It's a preventative measure. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I did not want this dude to lose his job. I'm going to be real with you. I didn't even want him to go on leave. I didn't want him to lose a dime. I just wanted him to stick to teaching. Yeah, I'm going to be real with you. I'm just not a big fan of normalizing teachers going live on social media. Release forms or not. I mean, if they sign the release forms, hey, it's not my kids. It's not my school, right? <laughs> Guess who's not going to your crappy school? My kids. <laughs> and if you had half a brain cell, you wouldn't enroll your kids in that school neither um, if that's what's going on. Because it should be focused on the learning and the development and the tutelage of the students, not so you can become an influencer. Right. I don't pay I don't pay school taxes, uh, pro school property taxes so you can be an influencer, um, you know, during school hours. I pay property taxes so you can teach my kid. But that, that that's that's the only gripe I have as far as the jokes I may say and I would lump them up, keeping that same energy still. Like I said, um, then that's only if the permission slip wasn't signed by me or the mother of my child. Now, now if we sign it. That's a totally different story because. I'm, I'm in the wrong at that point. I can't even get upset. Even even if we signed him up for school to attend school and that was included in the release forms, I can't be mad because I signed it. It's all about permission, right? But I do think that there should be boundaries. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Have a good day. Peace.